liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research. Radio telescope, astronomical instrument consisting of a radio receiver and an antenna system that is used to detect radio frequency radiation between wavelengths of about 10 meters 30 megahertz MHC and 1 millimeter 300 gigahertz GHC emitted by extraterrestrial sources such as stars, galaxies, and quasars. Stars are larger than planets or anything else in the universe and they don't consist of solid materials like the moon. They are the formation of hot gases energy, light and heat, which doesn't refer to the moon's qualities. Hence, the moon isn't a star. The Space Shuttle is a retired, partially reusable low-Earth orbital spacecraft system operated from 1981 to 2011 by the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration as part of the Space Shuttle program. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Let's go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one and boost recognition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Run roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying 365 miles per hour, one and, a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle.
galaxy is a huge collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars and their solar systems. A galaxy is held together by gravity. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, also has a supermassive black hole in the middle. When you look up at stars in the night sky, you're seeing other stars in the Milky Way. Flare maneuver, it will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. It's speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Whoa.